Take a second to watch this short clip and then we'll talk about it. I'm cooking three meals a day. That is one of the only keys to a man. The key to a good man's heart is your presence, your companionship. It's a red flag if they start listing services, cooking, cleaning, taking care of my kids, sex. If a lot of men were honest, all those services are things that they simply cannot afford to pay for. So they want a wife or a girlfriend to provide those services for free. And nine times out of 10, it works out for them because of patriarchy. We as women, what have we been taught? That cooking and cleaning and caring for kids is our thing. Even in a lot of religions, sex and making sure the fires stay lit is our responsibility. And because a lot of us believe that, it just, it benefits them perfectly. I once was looking at somebody else's post and I forgot what it was about, but a guy basically just commented and said, if I could afford it, instead of ever getting married again, I would just hire a chef and a maid. He said the quiet part out loud. I have um, talked to a lot of stay at home moms over the years and I used to be a, a stay at home mom and something that most of them noticed is that they thought that they had a, an amazing husband, right? Okay, so they're cooking and cleaning and they're managing the household, they're making sure the kids get picked up, they're planning all the activities, they're planning all the vacations, they're packing everybody's bag including his grown ass bag. They're doing everything to manage and run that house and to take care of those kids. And they love it, of course. And then one day, one, one fine day, when those same women decided, you know what, I wanna go back to work, or when those same women perhaps unfortunately came down with some kind of illness or a disability that enabled them to either no longer do everything on their own or they had to cut way back, they all noticed something. What those women noticed from their amazing husbands is now that the situation changed, those great husbands bitched and complained about everything. Some left them completely or they just half-assed did everything and the woman struggled to figure out how to continue to get everything done or she relied on her village aka the unpaid labor of her friends and family the women her fe her female friends and family members they relied on their daughters to pull the slack where their partner was just fucking off and this part of the TED Talk is only for those who love hearing the truth about a lot of situations, you know, and if you don't want it, that's okay. If it's working out for you, that's okay. And I've said this before, but a lot of women have these amazing husbands only because they're complying. As long as you don't have any hopes and dreams, right? As long as you don't need their help, as long as you can continue to do it all, as long as you don't expect them to do anything once they get home as long as you're perfectly fine with being the energizer bunny and just running and going and going and going and going they love you when i am getting to know a man if he mentions anything that sounds more like a job posting i'm out immediately i don't try to change their mind i don't try to debate and go back and forth i don't give a fuck but good luck to you i'm out I let men know from the jump i am not the girlfriend that is the personal assistant i am not the nanny i'm not the cook i'm not i'm not any of i'm not any of that stuff but if you if you're looking for a companion sure you know that's great but if you're looking for services that you simply can't afford to pay for otherwise, 
absolutely not. I'm not doing that. I barely want to do it for myself. So I'm not going to bring a whole nother human into the equation and start doing that shit for them. I'm one of those weird women who doesn't love doing that shit. I do not find joy in doing that shit. I don't, I don't like it. I don't find my purpose in tasks and being of service unless it's like some kind of charity or something or, or something like that. But I, 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 I find my purpose in taking care of myself. Am I doing okay? How is my mental health? How is my energy levels? Do I need to see my doctor? Do I need to book a therapy appointment? Do I need to pamper myself? I find pride in making sure that I am okay because if I'm not okay, then I can't be the best mom to my kids. I cannot be a good friend. I cannot be a good person. So that's that's where I find my that's what makes me happy is taking care of myself and I wish more women thought the same because there is a reason why single women are the happiest and married men are the happiest there's a reason for that there's a reason why single women live longer and married women don't there's a reason for that so if you don't take care of yourself no matter how your kids are telling you how much they love you and your husband's saying how much he loves you. If you don't if you don't take care of yourself, nobody else is going to prioritize that. So, if you find joy in tasks and productivity, you know, hey, you do you. That's totally fine. No, no, no. Don't get defensive. No, no, no. Hold on. But I do want you to question where that came from. I do want you to ask yourself why that is. If you're not afraid to, because some people, you know, but just kind of think about that for a second. Really, think about that for a second. Do you really enjoy those things? Or were you told you enjoy those things? If you could afford to pay somebody else to do those things and you could relax and have fun and read a book, or travel, would you take that option? And some of you would probably still say no. And I really just want you to dive into yourself. You don't have to tell anybody else. You don't have to share your answer. But a lot of women across the board tend to say the same thing. They find joy in doing things around the house. And if that's truly you, I think that's great. Love that for you. Then this this video is not for you. Let's not go back and forth. I'm not going to go back and forth. But um for everybody else you have a little tickle in your brain that hey, something isn't go isn't right here. I want you to lean into that. 